Hello, everybody. Hey, today we're going to talk about things to avoid when you're applying for a mortgage. Oh my gosh, don't do these things. If you're applying for a mortgage, you're in escrow on a property. These are absolutely things not to do. Number one, don't quit your job. Don't change jobs. Don't quit your job. Don't change anything about your empl employment when you're going through the mortgage approval process. Just hang in there, baby. It'll close quick enough. Yep. Don't make any large purchases. Don't buy a car. Don't go buy furniture. Don't buy appliances. Mm -hmm. Don't buy basically anything. Just mm -hmm. hold on. Wait till the property closes and go forward from there. Don't make any large cash deposits. No cash deposits. Every single dollar in this process has to be traced. Do not make cash deposits. This is not the time to start having a garage sale or selling things, sell your boat. No, no, no. No cash deposits. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, and we're not, it doesn't even have to be that large. Let's say you make 600 bucks on a garage sale. Not the time to put it in your account. Also, don't co-sign any loans. Family member, friend, boss, confidant, do not co-sign on any loans because that upsets the apple cart. That affects your credit. Do not um, apply for any new credit of any kind. Don't close any credit cards, open any credit cards, or buy anything on credit. And don't close any accounts. Hey, we've had this, whatever, let's call it a Sears credit card open for 20 years. I don't even know where there's a Sears store. Well, let's close it. Don't close any accounts. Not good. That could, once again, turn you into from an approval to a denial. Yeah, I mean, we've heard some really crazy stories. Of course, none of our clients have done this because we make sure they know not to do anything when we start this process with our mortgage broker. Um, but things, people get excited. They run out and buy appliances but right the week before it's closing or they buy furniture the week before it's closing or they decide to buy a new car. So those kind of things are the stories we've heard, just uh, horrible stories. And then uh, the lender will check your employment a day or two before it closes and make sure you're still employed there. And they will pull your credit again right before the end to see if you've made any changes there. So you are not going to do anything to fool the, fool the lender when you're in the process. So if you're thinking about getting a mortgage or applying for, for one, do not use an online mortgage broker. Um, we have local brokers here that can shop all the different rates and get you the best fit for what your needs are. So let us know. We have great pe uh, people we work with all the time. So do not do something online. <laughs> right, and a good mortgage broker can probably get you a loan anywhere in the country. So no matter where you're at, get with a professional. Make sure they have more than one opportunity. That means more than one bank or mortgage company or insurance company. If it's a conduit loan, whatever it is, make sure they have a full portfolio of lenders they can go to and put your name in the hat and walk away with a mortgage. So if you're thinking about buying a property, investment property, vacation home, uh, whatever you're thinking about and, and you want to start the mortgage process, we can help get you started, get you walk through that process so that we know what you are comfortable with spending. Beginning to end, this is where it starts. And this is where it stops. So let us know. You know where to find us if you're looking for starting a buying process. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.